Hi there. Um, this is a triple threat response to Derek, uh, Vinyl Flesh, and Holly Rules. Um, don't have a lot to show for uh, each um, thread, so I decided to put them all together and do one video. Um, first, Derek's. <coughs> Sorry. He asked, um, picture this whether or not we have them and show them. Or someone asked him and he sort of made a thread out of it, I guess. I don't know. But I'm doing it. I don't have a lot of uh, picture discs because I don't like picture discs at all. I don't get the idea behind picture discs. Um, seeing a picture spin around, uh, I don't get it. Um, but I still have three. You know, if I have the opportunity to buy a normal album or a picture disc, I'm going for the normal album. Um, I could care less about picture discs, but uh, the three I have, I bought them at the time because I was a fan of that particular group or that particular genre or whatever. So let's start with the first one, which is a split seven inch by Atari Teenage Riot and Asian Dub Foundation. This is from '97 and I was a big, big fan of the whole digital hardcore scene uh, where Atari Teenage Riot were part of. Uh, a mixture of uh, techno, rave, gabber house, uh, trash metal, punk, hip-hop, just and, and a lot of politics. Um, these guys, they were probably the ones that started that whole uh, scene. And here they're backed by, I think they're Indian um, musicians. They have a song called Free Ball Run, which I like. Uh, but I, I hardly ever play this. Uh, I don't know. I don't have any, anything uh, by Atari Teenage Riot anymore. I have all their CDs. Just got rid of them. So that's the only picture is I still have from that that particular style of music. Um, I also have Flock of Seagulls, Iran, uh, backed up with Pick Me Up. I have no clue why I picked this up. Maybe because I was a big synth pop fan at the time, and when I saw this, I thought, yeah, this is cool, but it's still unplayed. Uh, yeah, I have the normal 7-inch, which I also don't play, because I have the albums, but... Uh, last um, record, vinyl, LP, is Yellow Biafras, If Evolution is Outlaw, Only Outlaws Will Evolve. That's the title there. Um, it's a triple LP set, which basically is a spoken word piece. It's a long, long piece, and... Um, the thing with um, Yellow Biafra is that I, I, when I do understand what he's saying, I think he's funny, he's on point, but that's just it. When when I do hear what he's saying, most of the time he's just so fast I can't hear what the hell he's talking about. But the picture is they're pretty pretty nice, I guess. They're um, great collage works by um, a collaborator. Who's done a lot of uh, he's done a lot of stuff for alternative tentacles. I have to look up his name. It's somewhere. I don't know. I, I can't. <sighs> Sorry. Winston Smith. He did a lot of artwork for uh, uh, Alternative Tentacles and the Dead Kennedys. And he did, you know, these uh, collages, which are, I think they're beautiful, but they're pointless in terms of being on a picture disc. And the last album that was in this set, it's sort of a dolly type picture.
they, they are beautiful, but you know, I don't play this. This is stuff that is just being unplayed in my collection. I, like I said, I don't get picture discs. I, I don't get them. So uh, that's the picture disc thread. Um, Final Flash asked uh, another question. Uh, he had another thread up. Just did the nature thread. Now he is traveling. He uh, wants to know what records did you pick up while you were abroad, while you traveled? Where did you pick them up? Um, I think that's the question. Um, so that's how I interpreted it. Um, I have not traveled a lot. I wish I had. And some places like Germany or Belgium, I have no clue what I picked up there in terms of records. Um, I'm positive that Germany, because I went there with a car, uh, it's, it's, I picked up a lot of records, but I can't remember which one I did pick up there. But I did go to London, and I know for sure that I picked that up there, and some more, I'm sure, but I don't remember it. Uh, this is some friendly by the charlatans. Um, picked this up because I totally loved the whole Stone Roses uh, sound, and this is close to that. It's not quite that yet, but you know, it's a good good album. And I also went to Tokyo, Japan. Um, I had friends there who I wrote with, uh, emails, letters, um, swapped CDs. Um, you know, just a lot of fun. And out of the blue, I basically said, you know what, I, I'd love to go to Japan one day. And they offered to, you know, show me around. So the deal was set, and I went. Um, that was when the money crisis wasn't there yet, and I, I had a good job. Um, I still have a good job, but it doesn't pay as much. <laughs> um, but I picked up Optagonally Yours, a CD. Uh, didn't pick up any vinyl. Um, just, I went to one record store and it was tiny. I, I wasn't willing to look there. I don't know why. But anyway, this is exclusively Talent Maker. Features Rob Crow from Pinback on vocals. This is their second album. I had heard of this band, a uh, song called Poodle Man and um, Nonpartisan. I knew those songs. Geppetto is another song that I knew. Or. Not, this is a great, great album. It's um, sort of indie pop, but with a um, sound that sounds like it's from the 50s. So it's kind of weird. Uh, it, it's electronica from the 50s, kind of, but it's not because it's from 2000. I don't know. They, uh, their first album, they used the Optagon machine. That's why they're called Optagon Lior's. Um, the Optagon is a sort of machine that uses laser disc like the um, discs where you can put where which have samples and music on it which you can manipulate through a machine or something and that's what this sounds like it's odd it's an odd sound but I love it and all you rules he asked favorite psychedelic album um, there's so many uh, I have to be honest uh, but one of my favorites excuse me is uh, Os Mutantes, their, uh, I think their first album. This is a killer, killer album. Um, very, very unique. Um, very uh, just original. Uh, it's, it mixes psychedelic stuff with uh, Brazilian music and they created their own uh, devices, their own um, um, fuss pedals and stuff like that. It's just uh, one of my favorite psychedelic albums of all time. So there you go. Those are my thread responses. Um, hope you liked it. It's a short video. I'm going to do a, a final finds update next. Bye bye.